was 17. The doctor let me know that I didn't have a uterus. The uterus is where the baby grows. They just say, you can have a baby, that's it. I didn't really understand why it was happening to me, why I was born like that. So I kind of went based off of my mom's reaction. She cried immediately. They took me in to do an emergency C-section, delivered my baby, and had to give me a hysterectomy. So that was it on having children. I was devastated because my dream was to be a mom one day, like every other woman, and I couldn't. At that moment, my, my dreams were shattered. Every doctor that I went to said, you'll never be able to carry your own children. You can do surrogacy, you can do adoption. Transplant was never something that was brought up at all. We know that around 100,000 women in the United States have some sort of uh, uterine factor of infertility, uh, and there is a good percentage born without uterus. It's a really like life-changing diagnosis for, for these individuals. And so that's one patient population that has really been interested in uterus transplant. But there's also this huge population of women who had to have their uterus removed or have a uterus in place that is not capable of sustaining a pregnancy. At Penn, we have an incredibly strong transplant program. We have a lot of depth and breadth in the OBGYN program, and we had leadership that was really supportive of innovative, kind of groundbreaking programs. So this would be a perfect place for a uterus transplant program. We started in 2017 and did two successful transplants. Thankfully, those women got pregnant. 2019, we did our first living donor uterus transplant. We had live birth, beautiful babies. <laughs> Between 2023 to 2024, we did three living uterus transplants, and they were all very successful. I think one of the keys to our success at Penn and why patients want to come here is because not only do we have skilled physicians, but the physicians are completely passionate about uterus transplant and really feel like this is something that needs to be available to patients worldwide. My husband started doing research, and somehow he found uterus transplant, Penn Medicine, in Philadelphia. I was in shock. I didn't even know this was ever possible. There was a lot of explaining that this is a thing. The uterus is just remarkable, and the body is remarkable in that once you put a uterus in place, everything does exactly what it's supposed to do. I told some of the recipients, if you didn't tell somebody you had a uterus transplant, they would have no idea. When I heard of the uterus transplant program, I thought I wasn't crazy anymore. Where do I sign? Like, I'm ready. The fact of never being able to carry my own child was ingrained in me. And I didn't want to give up on the dream that I could carry my own child. We get a call from Dr. O'Neill that we have a live donor. And they have a uterus for me. <laughs> it was the best news ever. And then we got the great news that we were pregnant. <laughs> that was an amazing feeling. I didn't think I was going to be pregnant again. I was pregnant. It's just, you know, this is a dream come true. And she showed us, and it was just beautiful. I was like, wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a cute little baby. To go through the transplant, to finally deliver him, I was just crying the entire time. He's the one who's been kicking in me. I call him my answered prayer. I am holding my answered prayer. This is my miracle angel baby, Adriana Elizabeth. She makes me complete. When we did the first transplant, we called it the miracle baby. And I thought about it, miracle happens once. Uh, but here at Penn Medicine, we have constant and consistent success. And that's more than a miracle. I've always I had the donor in my mind to see that a woman that do not know you can go through a surgery and donate their uterus. 
it just blows my mind. My husband and I were very lucky when we wanted to have children. And if I could give that opportunity to somebody else, for me, it was no questions asked. My donor, she is my angel. I am forever grateful to her. Having children and being a mom is the greatest blessing. And to be able to give that gift to someone else is more than I ever could have hoped for. A large part of our job is to raise awareness. One question I get a lot is, is the baby going to be related to the donor in any way? But the DNA is completely from the recipient and from their partner. So there's no exchange of DNA between the baby and the uterus. Sometimes I still can't believe that I'm pregnant. Now I have a baby growing in me. It's just, I would say, a beautiful journey. I think every no just gave me more strength to keep searching for an answer. And it took me almost 20 years to find that person who said, yes, come, let's do this together. We have had 100% success rate in our uterus transplant program in terms of surgical success and 100% success in terms of pregnancy. So far, our six recipients have delivered eight babies. And that's the best success rate among any other program in the country and in the world. Dr. O'Neill and Dr. Latif and the transplant team, they are the best doctors in the world. And Dr. O'Neill is She's like my fairy godmother. I don't want to cry, but that's her effect that she has on me. Rome is our baby. He's your baby. He's Dr. Latif's baby. We all believed in him to be here, and he's here. The options for a woman with uterine factor infertility to have a family in the past were the use of a gestational carrier and adoption. And now with uterus transplant, if a woman wants to experience pregnancy, carry her child and deliver her child, we can offer that to her. It's no longer a research endeavor that is available to few. It's really clinical care that's available to all individuals who are interested. Being able to carry your own child is just an experience that I feel like every woman should be able to experience if they want to. Because carrying your baby it's just amazing, you have that bond. If you believe, you can come to Penn and make your dreams come true.